dye my hair with Manic Panic. As you can see, my red has faded drastically. So anyway, I'm going to use this color. It's called Infrared. And it should turn out pretty close to the same color as it did last time I made my video. Um, the reason I'm actually documenting this is because I've gotten so many questions based on that last review about how to go about doing it um, and what kind of preparations you need to make ahead of time. And to be honest, um, the website has lots of good information on it, but it's it's kind of difficult to navigate because there's a lot of tips from users of Manic Panic that's on the website in different places. So it might be best um, if I just try to consolidate all the information I found from the website right here. Um, first of all, to start off, I always have to put on put my dark brown pillowcase on my bed because the, tonight I'm going to go in there and not want to do it, and then in the morning I'm going to wake up and have my pillowcase all stained. So that's important. You need a dark brown pillowcase or a satin pillowcase or something that's not going to, uh, because for at least the first week or two, your hair, the, the dye is going to, you know, come off on on your pillowcase probably. Um, also, I laid towels over the, can't see it probably, but anyway, I laid towels over my sink, laid towel on the floor, old towels, um, I put on my hair color shirt, <laughs> it was just happens to be a Manic Panic t-shirt. And um, I guess that's all. I mean, I just kind of want to let you know what I do to start um, to, pre to prepare. Um, I am going to try to keep some of this blonde in here. Um, I read that if you put conditioner on the blonde, uh, it will not, the color won't bleed into it. So we're going we're gonna to try that. Um, I've done this before, but it's been a while, so... I thought I'd um, just at least show you the prep steps. I'm not going to actually dye my hair on camera because I'm really afraid of getting some of this dye on my laptop and it would be really a mess to try to clean it up. Uh, so I guess that's about it to start with and um, I guess I'm going to get started. Okay, got my final disposable gloves. These are the Mr. Clean gloves that you can get at the grocery store in a pack of, I don't know, eight or something like that for a buck. Divide my hair into four sections. I'm going to divide it into a top left section. And I'm going to twist it up and put it up in a clip. A bottom left section. There's four sections. And each section starts from basically a center part. Alright, I'm not actually going to film this because I don't want to get any hair color on my computer. So basically what I'm going to do is, so for example, I'm going to put the hair color, I'm going to dip my tint brush in a little bowl here. You, got, you get these at Sally's, all this stuff is just a couple of bucks. You get these at Sally's, I'm going to pour all the hair color into this bowl, and then I'm going to take this tint brush, and I'm going to start, and I'm going to put it, load it up. I'm going to start at the, the root, and I'm going to brush outward towards the the tip. Then I'm going to dip it again and I'm going to brush from the tip back into the root. So I'm going to go back, forth, forth, back, back, forth, forth, back. And I'm going to keep doing that until it's completely saturated. Each section needs to be completely saturated. Then I'm going to take the, um, the sections as I complete them, I'm going to wrap them back up, clip them back up. And when I'm completely finished, whatever hair color I have left, I'm going to use um, and to do on the tip, on the, the ends, um, wherever I can. I only reserve about a couple of tablespoons of it, and the reason I do that is I put it in my conditioner, and it helps keep your color bright. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do for now, and uh, we'll come back later and see, um, and start from there. Okay, so here I am, sitting here with my cap on my head. I... Uh, a couple of little things that I forgot. You need to put Vaseline, a pretty good amount of it, on your ears and around your hairline so that if any hair color drips down on there that you um, can just wipe it off. Also, even with the gloves on, I still have some staining on my hands because it gets down under the gloves. And one thing I completely forgot about from last time is that you do need to probably put Vaseline on your wrists too because the gloves don't come all the way up usually. And as you can see where my hair slapped around on my wrists, wrists is a little stained. But anyway, it'll come off. It's not a big deal. Um, 
So what I did is after I took the four sections of hair and completely saturated those, then I uh, took the, t the clips down and did one half at a time and combed it through my hair until it almost has like a frothy consistency. It doesn't actually suds up, but it just gets really like, um, you can hear it kind of frothing, and that just shows you that your hair is not going to penetrate, no more color is going to penetrate into your hair, so you can pretty much stop. And if you have some color left in the bowl at that point, that's the color you want to put back into the jar to use for your conditioner or on any parts that you need to touch up. Um, and after I completely saturated my hair, I cleaned up around my hairline a little bit and put this cap on. And um, I actually um, will probably leave it in here about four hours. I'm probably going to, it was 9.15 when I did it, so I probably let it go till around 1.15. I don't think it really penetrates much more after that point. Um, and then I'm going to rinse it out. But... Uh, the cleanup process is kind of frustrating. I mean, you need to take the towel that any had any drips on it. And you need to wash the towel separately. If you wash it with other stuff, of course, the hair color that dripped onto the towel is going to get onto your stuff. You need to wash it separately in the shower um, or in the in the washing machine. And then also do the uh, you know the the bowl and the tent brush and all that. Make sure you clean all that up real good. And you know you'll come up with some minimal staining, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, so that's all for now, and then as soon as um, I rinse it out, I'll show you the results. Um, I'm going to rinse it over my kitchen sink, and I'll put aluminum foil on top of the stainless steel kitchen sink. That will help um, keep it from staining the kitchen sink. But after the original rinsing out process, you probably won't need to keep any kind of um, coat. You know, your tub and stuff will probably not stain as long as you make sure you rinse the shampoo out really well, like for subsequent showers, the next few showers, it's probably not going to stain your tub. But the initial rinsing out process, I would definitely do in the kitchen sink or um, something that's not white. <laughs> so anyway, I don't even know if I'll have time for all this on a video, but I just thought those were kind of important tips. And when you're cleaning up your brush and everything, put some Vaseline on your hands, that will make it come off it easier. That's all. Okay. So I'm done, as you can tell. Um, it's really red. It's, I think, even redder than it was the first time I did it. If you guys can see the color. Oh my god. Look. It's like primary red. Um, I'm a little disappointed. And the reason I'm disappointed is because the last time that I got this product, I got it from on eBay. And it did not look like this color in the jar. It was like... Um, a kind of a coppery color and so when I washed it out even though it was very red it still had a little bit of copper hint to it this jar I could tell when I poured it into the little bowl that it was a lot redder um, the product itself was redder and I think the other one that I put on my hair might have been an old product I think it might have aged because this one did not look like that and this one came straight from Manic Panic so it wasn't like uh, I, I didn't order this jar from eBay. So keep that in mind. If you order from Manic Panic, you're probably getting a fresher product and your color is going to be a lot more vibrant. Um, if any of you guys tell me how to click the girl from Paramore, I'm just going to shut my channel down. <laughs> um, anyway, I tried to protect the blonde and it didn't work. Um, it still bled into it. I, I really thought that would happen. I didn't think that there would really be any way to completely protect it from this br vibrant of a red. Now, if you're doing like a, a copper red, like as a permanent color, it's a little easier for some reason for the conditioner to shield the color. So anyway, it's red, as you can see. And um, it's not as even as I was hoping it would be. It kind of looks like it's on purpose. So it's not that big a deal. So we'll just see how it fades over the next few weeks. But I got some red hair. Manic Panic. If nothing else, I am a good ad for Manic Panic. <laughs> see y'all.